What's happening, everybody? Joe for the Joe Wentz Project, and this is my little granddaughter, Maylee. Maylee, say hey. 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 <laughs> How old are you? Eight. Eight. All right, I leaned over and got the microphone right here. So what we're going to do before we start the video in full force, I'm going to place uh, some high notes, and Maylee's going to try to match it. She's going to try to scream the same notes. Come over here a little bit, honey, in the camera. There you go. Now we can see you. So are you ready? All right. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Very good, man. Awesome. High five. All right. Good job, Tegan. High five. All right. Thank you, guys. That was fantastic. All right, everybody, we are back. We're just jamming a little bit on the Wolfgang Standard, EVH Wolfgang Standard, man, with the roasted maple neck. Wonderful guitar to play. It's kind of like a uh, <clears throat> smoky gray into a black. Um, if you're new to this channel, I just got this guitar probably, uh, well, it's been a month. <clears throat> it's been a month because my second payment just came out. <laughs> so, all right, today it's an uh, unboxing day to day i got some stuff in the mail um one package i know what it is the other one i have no idea it might be something that's not even for, it's got my name on it but it might be something my wife ordered for her under my amazon account i don't know so we're going to see if it's if it's even for me i don't know so let's uh put the old pick over here trust the old pick this is a one millimeter and uh Steve Clayton is where I get my picks. If anybody's curious, uh, you know, I've had some people say, man, where do you get them picks? And Steve Clayton, USA. Um, SteveClayton.com, I guess. I don't know. You'd have to check it out. So we're going to see what we got. Um, yeah, this one here, I'm pretty sure I know what it is. And uh, I know that it's kind of close here, but kind of in a hard spot so we'll just do it like this here what is it oh by the way <clears throat> like like this is going to be a big surprise but it's from the van halen store all right oh yeah okay bubble wrap van halen store new product right here what is it it's the 5150 hat that is awesome I love this. I love this hat, man. Let me set this here just for one second. And uh, I've been looking at these hats for for a while, and they just look cool. <clears throat> they just they really look cool. I knew it was going to have some damn cardboard in there to keep the form there. So uh, I know you have to want to have to. It's got this kind of back, like the old baseball style kind of adjustment, like when I was a kid played sports uh, you know baseball of course uh, let's see is that gonna be about right ooh that's perfect what do you think y'all 5150 5150 and EVH <laughs> yeah and I love how it's got the stripes man that fits perfect all right I wonder if it helps you play better probably not in my case probably not <laughs> but anyway <laughs> Oh, 
Awesome, man. Awesome, awesome. Okay, what else is in the box? <clears throat> so, we got the purchase order. I don't need that. And these I've, I've used before. I just haven't got any in quite some time. EVH strings, gauge 9 to 42. That's what we got right here. And we got the man on the back as well. I've always been happy with these strings, man. And uh, I want to say somebody told me that uh, these are like, I think Diodario makes these or the same company that makes Diodario. I mean, I don't, I don't, I'm not hundred percent sure, but I understand it's from the same factory. That's what I was told. So anyway, so yeah, I wanted to get these strings cause I don't know if you can see, but right here, this wonderful EVH stripe, it's got a, uh, a broke uh, D string right there. It's, it's, uh, it is done. So I was playing a few days ago and doing some uh, rehearsal for this coming uh, Saturday night show. I got a Saturday night show scheduled uh, this Saturday at 9 p.m. Eastern. So I was rehearsing, <clears throat> going over the set list, and uh, man, that thing said, poop. I said, damn. I said, I'm glad it happened now and not later. So I said, I'm gonna get some more EVH strings, man. I haven't had these in a while. So yeah, EVH strings and, and um, they're really cool. I, I enjoy them, I really do. They, they seem to last pretty good. Now this here, I'm not sure what this is. It doesn't feel like anything I would have ordered, to tell you the truth, it's pretty heavy. And I don't know. Oh, okay, I know what it is. This is what I ordered. Okay. So big shout out to to uh Mr. David Stafford and R2 R3 Locking Up. My brothers on uh from Stafford's Music Studio show. I can't even say that. Stafford's Music Studio live show. Yeah, we also have that going on this coming Friday at 10 p.m. Eastern. This is a Furman, uh, <clears throat> what is it, like a voltage regulator? What is this? Uh, yeah, it's like a, it's going to help with, uh, for surge protection, uh, standard level noise filtration. Uh, so it, it helps with any kind of surge in the uh, current in here in the room because I have like two power strips and they're all taken up with stuff and they're hooked into each other and then it goes to the outlet to the wall so i was having issues with my signal from my rig here <clears throat> and um and i was talking to r2 and dave uh, before the show started last friday and they said you need to get a Furman. uh it's like a voltage regulator I, i'm not sure if that's the right proper name but that's what keeps coming into my mind so uh, and this was, uh, they have different, different levels. You can get for like 110, 120, 150, somewhere in that ballpark. And this one I think was like 40 bucks. As you can see on the back, they have like these rack, these rack style surge or voltage regulators or whatever you want to call it. Of course, those are the more expensive ones. And I said, no, I just need something like this. So this would be perfect. So let me tell you the quick story. When I was, uh, man, I'm glad that, I'm gonna plug this in here when we get done. That is awesome, man. Um, so, I would I was sitting there playing and I was like, and you could hear, not on here, on my, uh, my rig when I go live, when I go direct, not the amp. Uh, you would hear like a, in the background, like this constant hum and I had my noise gate cranked up a little to cancel that out, but the problem is it would cancel out my notes. It would cancel out the notes, you know, cause the, the way I had the level set on the noise gate, but that was the only thing I could do to cancel that, that hum and whatever was going on. It was, I dealt with this issue for like two weeks cause I can't be in here a lot every day cause, cause of my work schedule. So I'm only in here maybe an hour a day and I'm just trying to, my mind's going hundred mile an hour. I'm like, okay, what, what do I need to do? Do I need to get my set list together? Do I need to go over these songs? Do I need to make a video? It's just, you know, there's a lot of, 
a lot, a lot to do and not a lot of time. So I dealt with the humming uh, from these pedal board setups for like two weeks. I was tweaking all kind of stuff, trying to figure out. I was like, is it my pedal connector cables, man? What the hell is going on? And uh, as you can, well, you can't see, but I'm using my wireless, one of my wireless units here uh, to play. And I said, I'm going to go wireless on here when I went to practice the other night. And I said, I'm not going to mess with a cable. I'm just going to hook up my little, uh, you know, $80 wireless thing here. Because, you know, it doesn't take nothing for a cable to get wrapped around my leg and then you're pulling something and knocking something over or whatever. Um, but when I did that, when I took the guitar cable off out of the chain and then hooked up the wireless, boom, the humming and all that was gone. My signal was strong again and my tone was back. It was like, holy shit, you know, and I was like, I had no idea it was that guitar cable because... I just didn't think it was, and then I, <laughs> my dumb ass, when I looked back, I said, oh yeah, I've had this cable for like 25 years, and it wasn't, it was like maybe a, you know, maybe a $20 cable, $15 cable, so yeah, I took that cable, and I was like, well, you've been great, cable, but it's time to go, RIP, do it in the trash, and uh, so that is why I bought the voltage thing, because I thought that would get rid of that hum, because I thought it was, uh, my buddies R2 and Dave said it might be some kind of surge or something you're getting from the current, electric current. Um, come to find out, it, it as of right now, it wasn't. I mean, I'm sure there still is because I got so much stuff pulling in here for uh, power. Uh, so this is still a great thing to have. Um, I'm going to plug it up here in just a minute. But now it's really nice to know that that signal is straightened out. Because, <laughs> man, I, I'm telling you, I kept thinking something is not right. Something... God, mighty something ain't right. And what's really aggravating is when you're soloing and uh, you could you could hear that bleeding through. And I was like, what the F is that? I never dealt with that before. Never, I, really, never. I've never, I mean, it sounded like when you go to plug a cable in, a guitar cable, like it's not plugged in all the way. You know how you get that and then you go ahead and plug it in and it goes away it was like that and i kept looking i said everything's plugged in what the hell is going on uh, but it was that that guitar cord had went faulty over the past few weeks and i just didn't it was a slow process i didn't i didn't notice that but now we got that problem resolved we got the the Furman. I'm just going to call it a voltage regulator. I, I'm, I, I can't rem, you know, remember the proper term, but that's just what I'm going to call it. So 38 bucks. And I got to squat down so you can see me. And um, check out that hat, man. Ah, damn. And uh, so, yeah, here we go, man. So I'm just looking at it here. Yeah, it's, uh, it gives you a standard spike and surge protection. Uh, levels out your current keeps everything so no, no nothing don't you don't get no hum or buzz in case that ever happens again that'll wipe that problem out okay anyway this video has been long enough i hope you enjoyed the unboxing so we got the hat we got the the evh uh two packs evh strings and they're very reasonable on the vh store i gotta say i think they're like 5.99 a pack and of course i get the 9 to 42 that's what i always play and uh, from what I understand, I, I believe Eddie uses light gauge strings too. So we got the hat, the strings, and the voltage regulator, whatever the hell you want to call it. So it's a good day, man. And today is Thursday, so it's my Friday. Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. Until next time, this is Joe for the Joe's Project TV, man. And we'll see you on the flip side. <laughs>
the game So I'm going down Louisiana Heading to Shreveport Way 